Hello fellow YouTubers and teachers. Uh, in this video I'm going to do my September dividend update. This was actually a quarterly dividends mostly, uh, but I did receive my monthly dividends as well. And it was a very good month. I'll see you in the video. Okay, here are my dividends for the month. And I made a separate Google Sheet that shows this. I would recommend you guys do a similar one. So you take your dividends, put your months on the left column, write down your total dividends, and then wherever you're receiving your dividends from. Now I do all ETFs, SPHD, which is a monthly, uh, similar to S&P 500. RYLD is a covered call ETF, where it actually buys small cap blend funds and also sells a covered call on it to get good income. EFAS is a international, um, mostly banking, but high yielding dividend monthly as well. KBLY is my new purchase that I bought. I did previous videos on should I buy KBLY. And I bought only a few hundred dollars this month on it, but I bought $2,000 extra. Actually, I really converted 2,000 extra from VNQ to KBWY. I did that after the X dividend date. So October will be higher in that one. My savings went up about 10 cents. So $4 a month, I'm not gonna retire there. Quarterly dividends this um, time was $178.7. So it's a lot higher in your quarterly dividends than it was in the past. Here are my notes. I sold $2,000 of VNQ, which is a large cap REITs, and I bought KBWI, which is the small cap REITs, and we'll receive the dividend in October. Now, if you add all these numbers up, we got $283.60. That is all in passive income. I literally don't have to do anything with it besides just leave it there. And all that money will be reinvested into similar funds. And I should be receiving more and more dividends. One of the things I was thinking about when I got this, 283.6, I get about a 4% average dividend return on my investments. So next year, the 283 will get me an extra $11.34, almost 12 extra dollars for the year, just from simply reinvesting the dividends I did already receive. That's almost a dollar a month for free. Truly passive income just hanging out. Okay, slow and steady win the race, especially with dividend investing. We're looking decades down the line here. So $283 is definitely not a small amount of money, but it's not gonna let me retire. However, letting this grow, keep investing into the funds more and more, we'll get to bigger amounts over time. Okay. So pretty excited about those quarterly dividends. If you look at the total dividends for the year, January, February, I didn't get anything because I had it all in quarterlies. March 155.89 was a quarterlies. Then I decided to go to monthlies as well. 517.58 was my big month in June. July, pretty good. August paid a lot more in RYLD, and I actually hit over the $100 threshold. I, shot, I probably will continue to do that. So, for, so far for the year, we have $1,235.55 in truly passive income. Okay, I am reinvesting all that. It's gonna be forty nine dollars and forty two cents next year, just from keeping it the way it was. Okay, that's assuming no dividend growth, and there will be a little bit of dividend growth in some of these funds, especially. Again, slow and steady wins that race. Just keep on chugging along, and you'll do good. Here are the investments that I made this month. Did quite a bit of investing for right here. So everything above the calculator, 282, 183.17, 276.65, 153.98, 200. $1,096.94 we invested this month. So we went pretty heavy on the investing this one. Um, next month won't be nearly as big. We're still good on our savings, but 
wanted to make sure that we could get really close to the maxing out of our Roth IRA. There's only about 1700 left for the year. So that's my main goal for the rest of this year is to max out the Roth. Um, just look at that 1096. This is me being a teacher with two kids. My wife is working part time and she makes about seven, 800 a month. It's possible guys to save even a, as being a teacher. I mean, I'm doing it all the time. Sometimes you got to live a little cheaper, but um, have a good life anyway. Let's look at that 1,096. Let's say I just get 4% dividends on that. Looking at $43.87 for the next year, divided by 12, and $3.65 extra a month in truly passive income. Okay. Keep on investing and. Uh, hopefully I hear a lot of your goals too. I love checking other people's YouTubers pages on monthly dividends. Um, if you're, I'm not a sub of you yet, please leave a comment in down below in this video and I'll make sure I sub you as well. So I definitely like to see the community getting strong here. Um, we're at 1,228 subs last I checked. So let's keep it growing. And again, if you're new to this channel, I do dividend videos every month and show you exactly how much I'm contributing. I'm gonna make a future video on why I only show you what I contribute in my dividends and not the account value, as I feel that account value is something you can't quite control, but dividends and money you put in, you can. All right, guys, have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys next time.